Hey, Morgan. Yeah, we've got some news from the world of streaming and sports that's bringing together some important names to uh, uh, introduce a new streaming service that they hope at least is going to meet a lot of sports fans' needs. Uh, ESPN, Fox, and Warner Brothers Discovery all partnering on a new streaming sports platform that will offer all of their current sports programming available to uh, cable subscribers on this new yet-to-be-named, yet-to-be-priced app. But they are saying, in fact, uh, according to sources, it will be available as soon as the fall of this year. Uh, it does not, as I said, have a name or a price. And in fact, as well, my understanding is there has not yet been a definitive agreement reached by the three parties. That said, planned announcement very shortly. Press release may even, in fact, be out by now. Um, ESPN, Fox, and Warner all forming this JV to launch this streaming service in the U.S. This would be in addition, as I said, to their existing Fox Sports, uh, TNT, all the different properties under the Warner Brothers Discovery uh, uh, overall company, uh, and ESPN, as well as ESPN+. Plus. So those still would obviously be in existence, and there might as well be and will continue to be a development by ESPN, is my understanding of its own, perhaps, direct-to-consumer uh, programming. That said, this could be, you know, an important category killer, not including our parent company, Comcast and NBC Sports, um, and not including Paramount CBS, but bringing together a lot of sports programming. We're talking about football, basketball, Base, uh, baseball, hockey, a lot of college sports, the ACC, the Big Ten, the Big 12, the Big East, the SEC, and on from there. NCAA championships, uh, golf, Grand Slam tennis, cycling, soccer, even combat sports, Morgan, such as the UFC top rank. So uh, a lot there conceivably for sports fans and obviously geared towards those who no longer have or perhaps never had a cable subscription. We don't like those people, but we do have to talk about them occasionally. <laughs> um, I have so many questions, David, but I guess the first I'm going to ask is why come together and do this if it's potentially going to cannibalize the businesses they've already been building at a time where all of these companies are trying desperately to get streaming to a place of profitability? Well, you know, obviously you've got the direct to consumer offerings from all well from Warner Brothers Discovery under the Max brand and from Disney under the Disney Plus brand. Those are entertainment products, although they do include sports, certainly in the case of, uh, of Max to a certain extent and growing extent. But I think there is an effort here to say, well, this is the one place you could go as an app. Again, yet to be named, yet to announce the management team, a third, a third, a third ownership, if I didn't mention that already, is my understanding, um, and yet to be priced. But all that said, I, I believe the hope is that instead of cannibalizing, it will bring in so many of those who are interested in sports but don't want to have a cable subscription uh, and obviously would not impact the entertainment-focused uh, offerings on streaming from the likes of Warner Brothers Discovery uh, or uh, Disney under the Disney Plus and also the Hulu brand for now. Yeah. But it's a reasonable question. And by the way, this does not necessarily... Uh, mitigate against uh, the other effort being made by Disney, which is to bring in a potential partner for ESPN overall, uh, which could involve even uh, perhaps equity of some kind. The NFL has been in those talks with ESPN where they would contribute a couple of their cable assets at some determined price. And then ESPN, obviously, you have to figure out what the price is they uh, uh, sort of ascribe to, to that service to get that deal done. But those talks continue, is my understanding as well. So, David, this reminds me of a Hulu for sports, I guess, which mm -hmm. in a way confuses me because that's all getting untangled finally now, it seems, uh, finally between Disney and our parent company, Comcast. Does this help these traditional media players at all when it comes to bidding for sports uh, against these tech companies that have really, really deep pockets? Or is this mainly just about dis uh, distribution of what they will have already bid on individually? You know, you're asking great questions, John, as usual. And I, and I wonder myself and don't have the answer to you uh, specific to the economics. In other words, uh, my understanding is each of these companies will still bid on various sports rights separately. Uh, will they, though, benefit perhaps from additional revenue coming from this that will enable them to secure certain sports rights in their perhaps more heated competition with the likes of Amazon or Apple. 
Uh, I uh, would assume that may be the case, but you're asking a good question. I don't and expect to try to get some answers. We did want to bring the news quickly because it did seem to be breaking on a number of other services.